I haven't like said, this is my next level. This is what I want. So as soon as I decided what I wanted, I was like, okay, I'm going to declare it. I'm like, I am declaring consistent $100,000 cash months consistently. That's my next level in my business, in my income. And it felt so freeing to just put it out there. Welcome, Badass Manifester. I am so glad you are here. I'm your host and head coach, Ashley Gordon, master mindset and manifestation biz expert, founder of the Quantum Coaching Certification, and multiple six-figure entrepreneur obsessed with empowering you to create quantum leaps in your energy, your life, and your business. This is the show to help you make magic your everyday normal where the ripple effect is real and the guest experts are world class. My mission is to power your conscious and subconscious mind with manifestation teachings, business tools, and coaching techniques to put your potential into action. Consider this your weekly up level. Are you ready for quantum transformation? Let's do this. What's up, Badass Manifesting family? We're back with a solo episode, and today I want to talk about declaring your next level and what that means and how to do that. And I feel like maybe you've heard that before, like declare what's next for you. And I just want to kind of chunk it down a little bit and get into the nitty gritty of declaration and the power of declaration because... We've actually been trained as a society to not declare what we wish to receive, to just keep it to ourselves. It's like, oh, you have a dream? Keep that to yourself. Oh, you have a business idea? Keep that to yourself. Oh, you have a wish for your birthday? Don't say it out loud. If you say it out loud, it won't come true. This is a, um, to me, it's like part of the matrix pattern, right? It's like, society wanting to dumb us down to keep us away from our creative powers when really it's like the exact opposite like think about it when you get a new idea you're like oh my god I have an idea and you want to shout it out loud you want to tell someone you want to get it out right and that's our innate wisdom coming through of that that power of declaration because it's really the power of deliberate creation So if we can get into the groove of being more deliberate and feeling safe enough to declare our desires on a lot of different levels, um, your life will start to mold to that, to to what you what you want to call in. I think for so many of us, I don't want to say we get lazy. But we get lazy, right? We're like, yeah, yeah, we're the creators of our life. We're manifesting our reality. But we're not really putting any effort towards doing that. Not that it takes effort, right? Not that declaration is is efforting at all. But we're not declaring. We're not deciding. We're not intending. We are more passive with it, right? It's like a knowing. So it's like how can we embody that knowing on a deeper level? So... That's kind of what I wanted to dive into today with you. And, you know, declaring your next level can look a lot of different ways. But one of the first ways that helps me really declare what I want is I have to slow down to actually figure out what it is that I want. So I have to make space to figure that out. So I remember like, Just last week, I was on a bike ride by myself, driving down the boardwalk, looking at the ocean, and I was like, what do I, like, what's my next level? You know, what's my next level in my business specifically I was thinking about? What's my next income level specifically, right? So I was trying to get really, really specific and granular, and I was like, wow, I haven't even thought about this. I've been... I've been coasting, right? Things are really good. We're so abundant. Everything is is booming in our business, which is beautiful. And I haven't like said, this is my next level. This is what I want. So as soon as I decided what I wanted, I was like, okay, I'm going to declare it. I'm like, I am declaring consistent $100,000 cash months. Consistently. 
that's my next level in my business, in my income. And it felt so freeing to just put it out there. Even now, right? Like, it's like, oh, should I, am I saying this on the podcast? Uh, yeah, I'm saying this on the podcast. This is what you're saying that you want. And then with that, I say this or something better, right? This or something better. And, and to be even more specific, my next income level, I'm saying, okay, $100,000 a month in cash um, net. And even though I might have no idea how that's going to happen in this moment, the only way to set the universe in motion is to declare what you want. If you can get behind it. Like, do I believe that that's going to be my reality in the near future? 100%. It feels doable to me. It feels realistic to me. It feels like a healthy stretch. I'm not like, I'm going to be a millionaire in one day. Like, I'm not being unrealistic with my declaration, right? But it's okay to be somewhat delusional in your declarations, right? Somewhat unrealistic, somewhat um, stretchy, right? You want it to be stretchy. So that's just one example um, of something I was thinking of the other day. And for me, I love practicing in small moments. So a story I shared on my story, my st- a story I shared on my story the other day was that I went on my friend's boat. They have such a beautiful boat. It was such a gorgeous, hot, hot, hot day. And it was just the perfect day to be on a boat. The the wind in your hair and just the sun on your face. It's just like the best feeling ever. So we're on the boat and we, we were kicking off and we were, you know, going out to the ocean. And I said to my friends, we're going to see so many dolphins today. And I had no idea if we were going to see any dolphins, but I was like, I'm calling in dolphins. Ten minutes later, we see a pack of dolphins. We keep going. Another ten minutes later, we see a pack of dolphins. And it was extra magical because my mom was there too, so it was very cool. And then ten minutes later, we see another pack of dolphins. We literally saw dolphins the entire way to where we were going, and it was like an hour away. So it was so cool because I was like damn I should say what I want more often I just manifested the shit out of these dolphins and that was a huge breakthrough for me and I think it was a good lesson for everyone right because you can you know you can't deny it it's like you put it out there and then it happens and you're like whoa the energy right now is potent but also saying what you want makes it even more potent saying it out loud and maybe you're not a say it out loud type of person right But I want to say, especially in the small moments, like start saying it out loud. Like when you're driving to the grocery store and you're like, I'm going to get the first parking spot that I see. Declare it. Say it out loud. Um, When I went to, I just went to get my, um, I had a test for gestational diabetes. Every pregnant woman, you know, is, is, you know, asked to take this test. And I had to go to LabCorp, which is like where we go for blood work here. And usually... It's a busy place. So most people think, oh, it's always going to be busy. Just like people have belief systems about the DMV when you have to go to the DMV. They're like, oh, I'm going to be waiting forever at the DMV. It's always so busy there, yada, 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 yada. I just don't have that belief. My declaration and belief is that I'm always at the right place at the right time. So when I was leaving the house, my mom was like, you're probably going to have to wait there for a while. And I was like, in my head, like, no, I never wait there because I literally never do. I always get there at the perfect time always at the right place at the right time. And then when I leave LabCorp, there's always a line of people. And I had to actually wait for an hour to, like, to get this test. Like you, t- you take the test, you, you go to LabCorp, they got me right in. I drank the drink I had to drink, drink. And then you have to sit for an hour and then they draw your blood. And you're not allowed to leave because it's like part of the test. So I was sitting there and the room just started filling up and the waiting room started filling up and filling up. And this girl walked in and she was like, how long is the wait? And the girl said, 45 minutes. And I was like, oh my gosh. And she left. She needs to, that girl could declare that she gets there at the right time and she would have gotten there at the right time. Seriously, it works. So here's the thing. Start testing your power. Start testing the power of declaration. The better you get at declaring even things in your daily life, like just going, like simple mundane things, that it gets to be easy, right? Like my errands get to be easy or my parking gets to be easy. Like I'm declaring what I am calling in. 
it aligns. It aligns because you are the creator. You are the creator. And maybe, like I said before, maybe you don't like to say things out loud. Maybe you don't like to say things out loud around other people. But write them down. Write those things down and, you know, take time to think about what am I doing today? What am I declaring for today? What do I want to write down that aligns with that? Right? It's really just about taking the time to get off autopilot and saying what you deliberately want to create next. It's really fun. When I first learned about manifestation, I was super into declaration. I was super into just being like, okay. I would say to my friends, we're going to walk into this bar and there's going to be really cute guys there and they're going to buy us drinks all night long. And it would work every time. Like really, it, it really did. And I lost that somewhere along the way. I don't want to say I lost it, but I guess the like the knowing of like you're the creator, you're the deliberate manifester, you're the you're in the driver's seat. Like there's times where the magic feels like it's there full on and where it's where it feels like it's not there. And that's normal too. That's what I've discovered is like that's totally totally normal because how special is it when you can feel it so deeply and you're like, oh, life is so magical. I'm so magical. Everything is magical. Everything is manifesting effortlessly, you know? Um, and then other times where it doesn't feel that way, that's just showing you the contrast. That's just showing you to remember, right? So like if life is feeling less magical, then just know that what's on the other side of that is, is the feeling of magic, Okay, so let's just let's go deeper into declaring your next level because it's it's more than just saying it out loud, right? Because if you are like for me, for example, what I told you about declaring my next income level. If I didn't have a business and I wasn't taking action and I didn't have my program and I didn't do what I do every day, I would never believe that that was that could be possible because I had no action to back it up. You have to have action to back it up, right? So like, for example, if you are someone who's like, I want to be an entrepreneur, I want to be a coach, or I want to do this, or I want to do that, and you're you're declaring all day long, but you're not taking any action to get into the vibration of it, that's not going to work the same way. So the action is, the inspired action is such a huge part of it. And I know this is like basic one-on-one manifestation stuff, But sometimes, well, all the time, it's really the simple. It's really the simple things that are the most impactful. It's these reminders that we need to to get back into the flow of it. So, for example, I've had students that have, you know, gotten on application calls for the Quantum Coaching Academy with me. And they're like, I know that this is what I want to do. I know this is the direction I want to go in. I'm just so scared that like, what if this doesn't work out? Or what if I don't, what if I don't create the business that I really want to create? Or like all those beliefs come up, which is so normal. You're making a big investment in yourself and in your future. And you're, and more than that, you're, you're taking a huge leap of faith into what you know you're meant to do on the planet. And that is, (laughs) that's no small task in and of itself, but Sometimes joining a program is committing and declaring your next level. Maybe it's getting that level of accountability to help you stay in the declaration of what you're creating. And I find that happens a lot. I know for me, when I first realized like I want to become a coach and when I made that first investment in my certification program, I put $12,000 on a credit card and I was like, this is what I'm doing. I am going all in. This is where I'm going. This is what I'm doing. I know that I'm going to make this money back. I have no doubt about it. And that was my declaration to the universe. It was it was a declaration of action. Okay? So we talked about declaration of saying it out loud, declaration of writing it down, and now we're talking about a declaration of action. How are you going to move this forward? Because sometimes declaring it out loud is enough. And sometimes declaring it out loud calls for massive inspired action. 
to show the universe and your guides, this is my next level. And you have no choice but to meet me halfway. Right? I love that song that's like, can you meet me halfway right at the borderline? It's like an older song. But I used to sing that all the time when I was like taking steps in my business to move my business forward because I knew that this is just the law of the universe. I take the step, the universe supports, declaring through your actions, declaring through your words, declaring through your writing, declaring through your actions, right? Committing yourself to the journey you know you want to take and the purpose you know you want in your life. Like the, the purpose and the direction you know you want, want your life to go in. So like maybe you're manifesting love and you're like, oh, I really, I really want love. Like I'm declaring it. I'm calling it in. But you're not really putting yourself out there and you don't really want to pay for a dating app, which is totally understandable. But also like sometimes committing yourself to that action is the thing that will get you to the thing because you have to take the action first and then the universe will say will show will show you that it's with you like universe is like i'm tracking with you i'm tracking with you i'm tracking with you you know we're on this journey together so something that i suggest you do is you know if you're like really inspired by this and you're like okay ashley i am going to declare my next level in all areas of my life and all the things like do that Break it up into areas of life. Like there's um, there's a there you can look up on Pinterest the wheel of life. If you're in QCA, we have it in the portal, um, and it's a coaching tool. It's a really powerful coaching tool that we use. Um, but you can pull up the wheel of life and look at all the different areas of life and what you want to declare for each area, and then you can go deeper and deeper and deeper into each of those areas and what you want to receive, and how you want to feel, and what you're calling in, and then get in the practice of just doing it daily, right, with the dolphins. That was like such a simple thing, and I and I wasn't even trying, like I wasn't, it wasn't that I wasn't trying, I was like, oh yes, we're manifesting all the dolphins today, but it wasn't, there was no resistance around it. It was just like, yeah, this is fun, you know, how can you be more deliberate and have more fun around what you're calling in and how you're calling it in. So I I want to invite you to this practice of declaration and not being afraid to declare what it is that you wish to receive, not being afraid to tell the people in your life. Obviously, if the people in your life are not supportive, don't tell them because we don't we don't need that vibe. That's not the vibe. Right? Tell the people that you know are going to lift you up and support the freaking shit out of you and love you through it all. And be like, yes, you can do this. One of the greatest compliments that I have I receive from some of my close friends is that I'm their cheerleader. Like my friend Steph will message me all the time and she's like, she's messaging me in declaration. She's like, I'm going to host a retreat. And I'm like, yes, the fuck you are. Yes, you are. I'm like, it's about damn time, right? Like I'm cheering her on because I want her to do that for herself and I want her to feel supported in her declaration. I already see her leading retreats and hosting retreats and all over the world. I want to go to her retreats. Her retreats are going to be amazing. And sometimes we can see that in others before they can see it in themselves. And that's what coaches do too, right? That's the beauty of having a coach and being a coach is that we get to be that for someone else. We get to believe in someone's declarations and their vision before they see it in themselves. And it's the best fucking feeling in the entire world. I'm dropping curse words up, right, left, all the ways. I'm feeling feisty today. But I'm really feeling this topic because (sighs) there's nothing more powerful than being in your power. There's nothing more empowering than being the creator that you came here to be and being deliberate and saying what you want and owning it and not holding it back and lifting other people up in what they want. The more we lift others up in what they want, that's like that's like such a gift. It's such a beautiful, beautiful gift and that will come back to you. 
it's so amazing what happens when you get deliberate as fuck. Seriously. It is amazing. And I can't wait to hear what happens for you. Like, please share with me what happens to you. I love when I get messages about the podcast. I actually had a couple messages come through just the other day from last week's episode. And I'm just, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to be on the journey with you of like creating our life and, you know, doing this work together. And I'm in it with you guys as much as, as much as you're in it. Um, you know, I always share about things that are, that I'm going through, that I'm working through, that I'm, you know, realizing and, and passing that on. So it really is such a gift to be in each other's worlds and energies. And even if I don't know you, I still feel, I feel the love, I feel the energy, I feel the excitement and the joy. And it's just amazing. I, I, I met someone today um, when I was at the chiropractor and she walked in and she was like, are you Ashley? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, oh my gosh, I've been following you and listening to your podcast for a long time because I had interviewed my my network chiropractor, Dr. Teresa, like in one of like the f- first 10 episodes, I think. And she's, you know, she's been following along since then. And I was just like, she was like, wow, it's so nice to meet you. And I'm like, thank you so much. Like, it's so nice to meet you. And it's just, you just don't know always who you're impacting or like how you're making a difference and even I don't know right but I I share that to say that like you are you are making a difference in the people's lives that you touch and the people that you interact with on a daily basis and you know just being able to have this platform has been such a gift to me um, for deep healing and hopefully for you as well and that's that's like the ultimate goal so with that being said, I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. We've got a lot of good stuff coming up. A lot of good stuff coming up. Um, We're going to be launching early enrollment from now until I I think the end of September for the Quantum Coaching Academy. So if you um, would like to get on the wait list, the link will be in the show notes. Come onto the wait list. You'll get notified when we go live and the cart and the applications are open for the program. And then the cohort will begin in January. But if you enroll early, you will have additional business coaching masterminds every single month. There's live business coaching calls to get you prepped and ready for your business. You'll get your manual early. You'll begin your pre-study work, which is a ton of coaching content to get you started. And then our official live calls will start in January. So there'll be a ton of time to do some self-paced work and then hop on the lives and get a really big head start on the program. So the link to the wait list is in the show notes. Get on there. You've got nothing to lose. Get on there. And you'll be notified of how to apply early and get in, you'll save $1,000, and if you pay in full, you'll save up to, you'll save $1,500, so good things are happening, I can't wait, I know it's going to be an amazing, amazing journey for you, Um, and we're in session right now with the July cohort, and it's just going so incredible, like these students are amazing, 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 shout out to all of you who are listening, I'm so excited, we're really just getting started um, on our live calls, so It's super great. Super great. All right, everyone. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I will see you soon. Woo! We did some work today. Thank you so much for listening. You know I love my BAM fam. If this episode resonated with you, please share it with someone who you know would love it too because we live for the ripple effect over here. And how can you best support the show? Make sure you're subscribed, hit the five stars, and leave a review on iTunes and let me know how the podcast has impacted you. I love being part of your real-time journey, so screenshot the episode and tag me and my guests on Instagram at Manifest with Ash. Now say it with me. I am my own power source. I am the master of my own energy, and I deserve everything that I desire. We don't just talk about it over here. We be about it.
Now go get them.